Hello everyone, this is Heading Tian. Welcome back. In this video, we are learning 1.3, solving quadratic uh, quadratics by the square root property. First, let's see what is a complex number. The complex number has two parts, the real number part and the imaginary number part. So let's see this one, this form, uh, A plus B, B I, this is a complex number. A and B, they are all real number. The I is imaginary number. The I equals square root of negative one. I squared, that means we squared both sides. I squared equals negative one. This number uh, doesn't exist, I'm oh, sorry, doesn't exist in our real world. So we call I the imaginary number. Okay, let's simplify the uh, expression. If we have the a uh, is square root of negative 25, how to simplify this one? We know that in the old, uh, in previous classes, we have learned that square root of a times b, I can split it into two parts. They are square root of a times square root of b. That means if we have the square root of negative 25, I can split it into the 25 times negative one. Then we have square root of 25 times square root of negative one. And the square root of 25 is five. Square root of negative one, what is that? that is i. So square root of negative 25 equals 5i. Next example, we break down the square root of negative 5 into 5 times negative 1. We have square root of 5 times i. Or if you don't want to skip the steps, you can put multiply by square root of negative 1. It is square root of 5i. Next example, first we uh, rewrite the expression into the square root of 48 times square root of negative one. And how to simplify the square root of uh, 40, 48? We know that if in the square root is something squared, for example, a squared, we have a here, but uh, is 45, uh, 48 something squared? No, but we know that 48 equals uh, three times 16. And I can continue to rewrite the expression into square root of three times square root of 16 times, uh, this is I. Square root of 16 is four, so four, uh, square root of three times four times i. Normally we put the number in front of the radical number. So we have four times square root of three i. Okay, next example. So next part, solve each equation by the square root property. Here is the hint for any real number k. If x squared equals k, then x equals square root of k, or x equals negative square root of k. Or you can simplify that uh, x equals positive or negative square root of k. For example, if, uh, for example, if x squared equals 25, then x equals, I need to square root both sides then x equals positive negative square root of 25. Uh, square root of 25 is five. So x equals positive negative five. You can also say uh, x equals five or x equals negative five. Uh, let's see the example. If we want to, uh, number 15, if I want to solve for the x, the first step, I must isolate the x squared. So get rid of the three from both sides. Divided by three, divided by three. We have x squared equals nine. 
take the square root of both sides. You take the square root for the variable x squared. You must have positive or negative square root of nine. Uh, square root of nine is three. So x equals positive or negative three. You can also write them into the x equals uh, negative three or neg uh, negative three or positive three or list them in the set notation, negative three, positive three. Next one, isolate the x squared. So get rid of all the other terms. So we need to uh, subtract one both sides or move the one to another side by changing the sign. You subtract one both sides, five x squared equals 50. Divided by five, both sides, x squared equals 10. And then take the square root for the x squared. You must have positive or negative square root of 10. So you can keep this answer or you write them in the set notation. Okay, next example. Uh, solve for the x, isolate the Isolate the x squared, adding five both sides to, uh, I skip the steps. So add a five, add a five, two x squared equals negative five plus five is negative 50 divided by two both sides. Isolate the x squared. x squared equals negative 25. Mm. x squared equals negative 25 means this is not a real number, but we still need to follow the steps to take the square root both sides for the variable x. x equals positive or negative square root of negative 25. And what is the square root of negative 25? Is that the 5i? Yes, x equals positive or negative square root of 25 times square root of negative one, x equals positive negative five i. You can also write them into the two uh, two terms, uh, two uh, solutions. They are uh, positive five i or uh, x equals negative five i. Okay, let's see next example. So you have x plus two squared equals 25 you must just take the square root both sides. So take the square root x plus two equals positive or negative square root of 25. X, equal, uh, x plus two equals positive or negative five. Uh, isolate the x because we are solving for the x. We must, uh, sorry, we must uh, subtract the two both sides. Uh, Subtract two, subtract two, x equals negative two plus or minus five. Well, we have the positive sign or plus sign. x equals negative two plus five, x equals positive three. If x, we have the negative sign because this is positive and or negative. So the negative, uh, negative case is negative two minus five. That is negative seven. So we have two solutions, three, negative seven. Okay, let's see next, how many examples are left? We have five examples left. Let's see next one. Isolate the x minus four squared. Uh, we can divide it by three both sides. We have x minus four squared equals five square root of both sides x minus four equals positive or negative square root of five then plus four both sides x equals four plus or minus square root of five so this is a solution next one uh square root of both sides x plus three equals plus or minus square root of negative 16. Uh, what is square root of negative 16? It is uh, square root of 16 times i. x minus three equals, or plus three equals plus or minus four i. 
and uh, isolate the x, subtract the three both sides, x equals negative three plus or minus four i. Uh, this is the solution. Next example. x minus three squared equals negative five. So take the square root both sides, x minus three equals positive negative square root of negative five. So x minus three equals positive negative square root of five i. And uh, x equals plus three both sides, three plus or minus square root of five i. Next example, five uh, x minus one squared equals seven. Take the square root of both sides, five x minus one equals positive negative square root of seven. And uh, add one both sides, we have five x equals one plus square root of seven. Oh, plus or minus, don't forget you have minus sign. And then divided by five both sides, uh, divided by five both sides. x equals one plus or minus square root of seven over five. Less of one of the 1.3, uh, take the square root both side. We have three x minus four equals square root of a positive or negative square root of eight. And uh, what is the square root of eight? Square root of eight, if I have something in the square root, for example, a squared, so I got a. So is the eight equal something squared or the factor has something squared? Yes. I know that eight equals two times two times two. So two times two, is that a four square, uh, is two squared? Uh, yes. That's two squared. That means I can uh, rewrite it into square root two times square root of two squared. So this is two. Three X minus four equals uh, positive or negative square root two times two. Uh, because we, we like to put the two in front of the radical number. So three X minus four equals positive negative two square root two. Then we can solve for the x, uh, add four both sides, three x equals four plus or minus two square root two, and divided by three both sides, x equals uh, four plus or minus two square root two over three. Okay, uh, that's the last question of 1.3. If you have any question, you can uh, email me or visit my office hour. Okay, see you next, uh, next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.